I'm a professional musician, and if you've seen any of my gig diaries, you will know that a large part of that is going out and playing music live. <laughs> As well as that, a large part of my work is writing music and recording music at home in my studio. I've written lots of music for radio and TV. Without realising, you may have already heard some of my music on the TV or radio, particularly if you live in the UK. I've written music that's used almost daily on the BBC, on Six Music, Radio One. Also, Virgin Radio in the UK and the LBC. My music has been used on the TV. It's been used on SpongeBob SquarePants, Top Gear, and it's also been used on How To Look Good Naked. I've also co-written some theme tunes for TV shows, and a couple of years ago I had a piece of music in this film, and I've also written some guitar pieces for Trinity College at London for their acoustic guitar exams. Here's the book with my name emblazoned on the front cover with some other more famous people. Now people are often asking me how you get into this kind of thing. Now, I can't give any specific advice on how you meet the people that you might be able to do the work for, because there's always a certain amount of luck involved, but the advice I can give is you need to be in a position to take advantage of that bit of luck if you do meet those people. So what I can do is give you the benefit of my experience from having done this for the last 10 years, and how you can make the music as good as you can when you're asked to provide it by these people that you've met. <laughs> Most of that music I listed above was all written to a brief. So a very good place to start here is how to write music for a brief. So that's what I'm going to address. Now a brief for a piece of music can be many different things. It could just be technical. It could be something as simple as this piece of music needs to be 30 seconds long. Or it could be more specific. It could say that it has to sound like something in particular, or it has to be this kind of tempo, that kind of tempo. There's many different things it could be. So going back to the very first piece of music I was asked to produce, it was for a theme for a breakfast show. Now that was all the brief that I was given and I sat there with a blank canvas not knowing where to start. I had a couple of ideas in my head of breakfast show themes that I may have heard but they could possibly have been completely the wrong genre. I mean, you get lots of different types of radio stations and the ones that I'd happened to listen to could have been completely different from the ones that I was writing for. But at the time, none of this crossed my mind. So what I've learned in the last 10 years is you need to get as much information from the person giving you the brief as possible. Now, an example of a brief could be something, as I mentioned before, as vague as it needs to be 30 seconds long and have a trumpet, for example. But the more information you can get, the easier it makes your life when you're trying to write it. So if you were to get, be given a more specific brief for a breakfast show, it could say something like, this needs to be energetic, it needs to take you on a journey from your bed to your breakfast table. Your target audience is a 25 to 35 year old woman. It should also sound like Mumford & Sons and Adele and contain a string quartet and a brass band. Now, I'm exaggerating that brief for comic effect and to try and make a point. What I didn't realise at the time when I was first given these briefs is that quite a lot of time, the people writing the briefs, they're not necessarily musicians. Now, they're normally very clued up on music. It's their job to be that working at radio stations where they're playing quite often the latest music. So they're music programmers. They know a lot about different genres of music, certainly more than I do for the lot of the stuff that I'm asked to do. So what these briefs normally are is a non-musician verbalising piece of music they've either heard or got in their head and trying to convey the exact idea of what it is they want. Now the best way to get the results and get closest to what the person is after is to ask them for some examples of specific tracks that sound like the music that they've got in their head and the idea that they're trying to convey to you. At that point you can then take those tracks and you can pick pieces from each you can pick the tempos, the instrumentation, the keys, and then try and form an idea of your own using all of those elements. And quite often the way I'll start is to try and get the tracks to sound as close to the references as possible. Now what I find is you can try and get close to the references, but then ideas will take you in different directions and what you end up with hopefully doesn't particularly sound like the track you've been given. Now I know from experience, because another thing that I do is I re-record songs to try and make them sound as close to the original as possible. And having done that, I realize how much work is involved in trying to make tracks sound like the original track. So the chances of accidentally making it sound like the original track are fairly slim. In fact, let me just play you some examples of some of the sound-alike tracks I've done.
So that's my kind of process for how I would start writing to a brief. But so far, this is all in the abstract, and I think it would be far better for me to demonstrate doing this than just talking about it. So my idea is I'm going to try and write some original music to a brief that I've written myself. I got this idea from listening to Corey Wong's interview with John Mayer. In the interview, John Mayer talks about his new album, Sob Rock, and how what sounded like wrote a brief for himself. He was kind of going for these 80s references. Let me play you this little snippet of the interview to show you what I mean. I would like to use a Juno and a Roland JX-8P, and I want to work on some sort of Bruce Springsteen Tunnel of Love song form. Yeah. And I want to sort of harken back to the 80s thing. So from that, I thought, this sounds like a good idea. If I set myself a brief, then I've got something to aim towards, which will make writing original music much easier. Plus, I can then demonstrate on these videos how to write music to a brief. I'm gonna try and make this into a series of videos, and I thought a good way of doing this would be to create a hashtag so you could follow that. Hashtag my sob rock. Check out episode two, where I'm going to start on the first song and show you how I use the references to get started. So please hit subscribe. Check out the hashtag MySobRock and I'll see you on the next video.